And still on health matters, the Warren Cancer has received a major boost following the setting up of a clinical research unit that is dedicated towards cancer clinical trials. The facility, which is the first of its kind in East Africa, sets the stage for cancer clinical trials in Kenya. It will also double up as a training facility for nurses and doctors to become clinical investigators and help develop new clinical research modified for the region's population. Caroline Kimau with the details of the renewed war on cancer. Cancer is the third highest cause of death in Kenya after infectious diseases and cardiovascular diseases. It is estimated that 33,000 Kenyans lost their lives to the disease in 2018, while an estimated 48,000 new cases were reported. With inadequate diagnosis and management of the disease in the country, many patients in Kenya have had to seek health care from outside the country where there are more advanced technologies to handle the disease. But it would seem there is a glimmer of hope. A dedicated clinical research unit for cancer has been launched in Kenya that will spearhead cancer clinical trials. I realize that the drugs we use in North America have been tested in patients in North America. They may or may not apply to patients in Africa. So for us to be able to give drugs to an African patient with cancer, diabetes, heart disease, sickle cell, we want to be absolutely sure that those drugs have been tested on our patients. And during the launch, Professor Mansur Saleh said the unit is necessary in developing vaccines that are targeted on the Kenyan population that could mean better efficacy of vaccines developed, noting that the African population is not currently well represented in the cancer clinical trials globally. With a group of patients who received the same drug in Hong Kong, their patient count went from 50,000 to a million didn't go to 20,000, we went tenfold higher. And the question was why? It because patients in South Asia, Chinese ancestry, metabolized this drug differently than North American Caucasian patients. And that began the idea to say that if other ethnicities metabolize drugs differently, what about cancer drugs that come to Kenya? Maybe our patients metabolize them differently. Maybe they have more side effects, less benefits. So the reason for the existence of the clinical research unit is that we will test novel drugs on our patients here in Kenya and East Africa. Lauding the efforts made by the facility to bridge the gaps that exist in offering quality cancer care, Health CAS Rashid Aman said the government has developed a national cancer policy 2019-2020 the policy provides for a framework to address cancer control through systematic implementation of evidence-based interventions for prevention, screening, and timely diagnosis and treatment. The ministry remains committed to ensure that this policy is implemented and adopted to the fullest in order to improve the lives of our population. The clinical research unit is already involved in a number of clinical research projects, including phase three of COVID-19 trial. Caroline Kamar reporting for Channel One, Nizar.